Today, we're going back in time to the 1980s. That's right, we're gonna be opening the RLC 1982 Lamborghini Contach LP 500S. Uh, Lamborghini Contach is a mid-engine V12 sports car produced from 1974 all the way up to the 1990s. This car also popularized the cab forward design concept which pushes the passenger compartment forward to accommodate a larger engine. Hot Wheels actually had been making this car since 1988, not RLC. Um, and that was designed by Larry Wood back in 1988, which I actually have uh, one of his cars right here, which is a Larry towing car. It's actually called the Ramblin' Wrecker. And if you haven't already seen where I got this car, I bought $700 worth of red lines for the low. Check out that video. The Ramblin' Reckler originally featured Larry Wood's phone number right here where this blue stripe is. In 1975, and they removed that phone number and put this blue stripe here in uh, 1977 because they were, he would get hundreds of phone calls from kids and adults, so they removed that. They also came out with a RLC Ramblin' Reckler back in 2011. Now that we've seen that and we've seen some funny Hot Wheels history, let's move on to the 1980s. Contach. They also have this in blue, ice blue to be exact, and that will be shipped out um, on or before June 30th, 2023. I did not get that car, unfortunately. They also have a RLC red um, that was 12,500 of them were made. They also have an RLC black Contach, 12,000 of them made. I don't have that one either, unfortunately. But I'm lucky enough to get two of these, so I'm happy about that. We're gonna be opening one, taking it out of the case, and keeping one in the case. So this right here was released on 10 25 22 back in October. Features scissor doors, Spectre Flame Olive Green. It's got matte black fenders that are deco, and the rear wing deco as well. Um, it's got authentic logos on there that are deco. It's a Zamex body. It has Real Rider five spoke modern wheels with copper painted hubs. It's matte black painted chassis with silver painted details. Uh, so we'll be opening it up and we'll be seeing that bottom chassis here shortly. It also has light smoked window tint, matte black painted interior with tan and matte black painted details like the seatbelt, etc. So let's get this thing open and check it out. We got the case off. There's some plaques there hold the doors. The doors move very freely. Huge fan of this car. The paint on it is ridiculously awesome. Look at that shine. You see me. <laughs> and they actually added these fenders in the wing, the V-shaped wing um, to the LP500S. They didn't have that back originally in 1974 when the car first came out. So now that we've seen it on the base, let's crack this thing open. On the base here, there's two screws. One, two. We're going to be unscrewing that. I'm getting the car off. I'm going to hold the car here so I don't drop it. Don't want to ruin that special paint. There goes one. My first time opening an RLC off the base. All right, there we have it. The little spaces are falling off. There it is. Wheels move amazing. If you look on the bottom here, we can see that um, bottom painted chassis with the silver painted details all along the side here. I've never seen that in any other car. It's my first time seeing that, so I think it's blowing me away. It's awesome. Cool stuff. Now that we've seen that base, let's throw this thing on the spin table and get a close-up of it. In the front, you can see the Lamborghini emblem, and also it has great headlight details. It's got that black deco uh, fender flares, the five-spoke modern wheels with copper painted hubs. In the rear, we can see that it has the rear taillights. It has a plate that says Spec 500. It also says Contach 5000 on the rear. And it's got a lightning bolt, it looks like, right next to it. And it also says Lamborghini in small letters next to the left taillight. Got that black V-wing. 
It does have one big giant windshield wiper. If you look up closely, we can see the black painted seat belts in there. You can also see the shift knob in there. It has black interior in the front. And uh, got that tan seat, tan center console. Probably one of my favorite RLC cars. I wish I had that black and red and the blue one. All right, let's close these doors, roll it away, and let's check out what we got next. We got the Jay Leno Garage Lamborghini Contash LP 5000 QV. This one does not have that V-shaped rear wing. It's in the red color. Pretty sweet car. It's got red line wheels, the premium casting. Um, let's get this thing open so we can compare the two. That came out real nicely. This one does not have scissor opening doors. That rear wing on there that you can see on the RLC one, that V-shaped wing, that actually took off 15 miles per hour top on the top speed of the car, unfortunately. But it looks rad. So now we can compare the two. This one's got the sweet opening doors. And that's just the difference. This casting is about $6, and I believe this was $30 that I paid for it. What do you like more, the wing or no wing? I have to give it to the wing. The premium casting does have headlights and taillights. The interior color is tan on the premium from Jay Leno's Garage. Now that we've seen both of them, which one's your favorite? And would you pay the extra bucks for this? This is $30 and this one's $6.30 plus tax. What would you do? Would you pay for that extra money to have the premium RLC or just the premium casting? You guys tell me in the comments, I'm curious. Thank you guys and if you haven't already, subscribe and like. If you haven't liked and subscribed, you're nothing to me. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching.